morning we're off to the range today it is mother's day today so happy mother's day but i'm off to the range my ex spoke to me yesterday and asked if i would like my son to come to me for an hour today so he is so i'm really excited i didn't think i was going to see him at all over mother's day but my ex spoke to me yesterday and said i can drop him off to you for an hour this afternoon so it's not till about three four o'clock because my ex has obviously gone off to see his mum in wolverhampton so then they've got to come back to where we live so it'd be about three four o'clock i only get him for an hour which isn't long but at least it's an hour that i get to see him so i'm really happy about that so i'm going to be cleaning all day so much fun um and i'm going to go to the range and to tesco with my mum to have a look at some easter range stuff because i haven't been there for a while so i'm going to take you along with me and show you what we've got and then i'm just going to be cleaning and waiting for my little boy to come home for an hour so yeah really excited to see him it can be really difficult being a solo parent when mother's day or father's day fall on the other person's weekend and I really didn't think I was going to see him, but he offered and I'm not going to turn it down. When it is Father's Day, though, my son is with his dad anyway. It's dad's weekend on Father's Day, so I haven't got to worry about getting him to, to see his dad because I'll already be seeing him. But anyway, today I'm going to go to the range and Tesco, have a look at their Easter stuff. So I'm going to show you what they've got. Yeah, I don't know really what else I'm going to do, but I feel okay. Um, I did have a bit of a mental health episode. I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm still feeling a lot of anxiety. Um, really am struggling, but I'm pushing through because I know if I just sit down and rest and take care of myself, like everyone says, it's just going to get worse. I'm just going to keep pushing through. I'm going to do things that I love to do, watch things that make me laugh and get myself out of this position. Sometimes when I have these little mental health episodes, I want to call them, they can last for a day, two days. Sometimes they can last for absolutely months. Um, so I'm just going to be gentle with myself, but I'm going to keep pushing forward um, and just try and get through it. So, but... I'm still going to remain positive because being negative is not good, is it? So I'm still going to remain positive. So let's get to the range and see what they've got. So before we went to the range, we popped to Tesco and they had this huge giant mini egg bar, which was £4. They had normal mini eggs. They also had chocolate orange mini eggs for £1.50. Not seen them before. Have anybody tried those? They have Milky Bar, Smarties, Maltesers, Malteser Orange and Malteser White Chocolate for one twenty-five on the club card. And then Lint Chocolate Bunnies as well for £1.90 on the club card as well. They had a bit of everything. Dime bars, Whisper bars they had uh, little eggs lint eggs for 55p capri cream eggs for 55p the jelly baby chicks were £1.35 on the club card you also had reese's eggs there too everything is in a bar as well these days everything so take your pick they had smaller versions of mini egg bars for one fifty. And then they had lint chocolate eggs or big bunnies and they had these little chocolates here which are a lot cheaper. Uh, I think they were one pound or you could buy them bunny shapes or you could buy the eggs. They just had everything, the little bunny Malteser eggs and some Kinder eggs as well. And then you had packets of the Cadbury's cream eggs here. Um, they had white chocolate, caramel and milk chocolate. You could buy them all separately or you could buy them together. The Oreo ones, very high calorie, but absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. They had a five pack of the eggs here. It was two normal, one white and two caramel for £2.50. Why can't they do two white? It'd be so much better. Then they had Easter egg hunt packs here. £7 for the Cadbury's one. They had Kinder egg and they had lint bunnies. £2.75 for the lint bunnies. They had 22 different pieces of chocolate in the £7 one. Or you could buy Tesco Zone for £5 one with 18 pieces of chocolate in as well. Or you could buy this big easter egg thing where it had milk and white chocolate in also got those bunnies which my mum picked up each one for the kids as spring boxes and then you had some other easter eggs and other chocolate here the lint chocolate bunny i always think of easter when i see that and they also had it in a bar everything's in a bar but you've got to have a lint chocolate bunny at easter haven't you just got to and you also had one here strawberries and cream um, which I thought was sounded nice and that one was salted caramel so they were three pound each or you could just have the original one as well 
Then you had all the little mini eggs at £1.50. I think they are cheaper in Aldi at £1.25, but it's up to you. Um, and they had Maltesers and all sorts, Unicorn Thorntons. They had frozen Kinder eggs and they had the Thorntons bunny and they had Kinder dinosaur ones as well, which is a little bit bigger than the frozen one, I thought, but they might do a bigger frozen one. I'm not sure. But they had all different eggs. Then you went over to the bigger eggs and they were only £3, which I didn't think was that bad. And there's quite a range of different ones that you can have, um, especially Terry's chocolate orange ones. And I had orange Smarties as well, which are over on the other side. I didn't think I saw them. And they had Kit Kat and Aero and again, the orange Smarties and a Snickers and a Twirl and a Twirl Orange. Twirl Orange you have now of Easter egg. Uh, Biscoff Kit Kat. If you like Biscoff, if you like Kit Kat, get the egg, £3.50. Twirl, normal Twirl, Bounty, oh, Orange Smarties, oh, Aero, Galaxy Minstrels, Cadbury's Cream Egg. What egg do you usually have at Easter? I don't usually get one anymore, but what egg do you have? Caramel, Crunchy, there is so much. Then you had even bigger eggs, which are £5, but £3.50 on the club card. So rather than buy the so £3 one, if you've got a club card, pay the extra 50p and get a bigger one. Uh, they are Cadbury's Fingers, Chocolate Fingers, um, Twirl, Whisper. My son loves Whisper at the moment. They have the Milky Bar one as well, and some Smarties. Um, the Milky Bar one looked really cool. That was £3.50 on a club card or £5 without a club card. M&M's and Terry's Chocolate Orange of Galaxy Ripple. Do you know what? I love all of these. Kit Kat, white and milk chocolate. Um, you also have peanut butter ones as well, I think. Then you had the mini one, eggs ones. These are even bigger. These are £12, no club card offer on these ones. Um, but really they are so much, much bigger one. and much more luxurious as well. They had a fruit and nut worm, which my mum loves fruit, fruit and, and nut. nut. In the egg. And they actually, the egg actually had fruit and nut in which I thought was different. Uh, Galaxy, all different flavors, Galaxy. And then you had the Ferrero Rocher ones as well. Uh, the white chocolate the white one, one is my favorite because I love white chocolate. I was telling my mum that I really like them. <laughs> uh, and then you had Lint or Lindor or what do you call it? Lint, Lindor or both? They yeah, were the £10 pound points, on a club card, £12.50 without a, a club card. Um, you had loads there, of okay. different flavors from salted caramel to dark chocolate to milk chocolate to white chocolate to coffee, to the original. There was so, so many. And then you had even more so over here, the Thornton's one ones, row, if you are it? love a Thornton's chocolate. And they had the dairy-free ones as well, which were £2.75. This was like a popping candy marshmallow bar, but it was dairy-free. So if they didn't have one like that, which wasn't dairy-free, lots of different um, gluten-free, dairy-free, eggs but they are a lot more expensive than the normal egg but if you need those ones then go for it and then they had basic chocolate didn't want an egg just wanted to get some chocolate you could take your pick from milk tray celebrations toblerone which were on offer dairy milk box was on offer as well and all different kinds of chocolate that you could buy um, and then over here you had lots of different cakes again they were £1.50 or 125 on the club card lots of different uh, easter style cakes here that you could buy um carrot cakes as well which is obvious isn't it for easter um i'm trying to grab something so sorry oh here goes six hot cross bun pies let me know if you're going to buy those and let me know what they're like if you do um, and then down here you had some cupcakes. The cupcakes were five pound. You also had these uh, Easter cubes. They were five pound as well. And the actual cupcakes were five pound too. Quite cool actually. There were nine cupcakes. I might grab some for my nieces, but actually I'm more than likely going to make them with them. Okay, moving on to the range now. We had these at Gonks as well for the range. And you had this Easter craft basket, which I thought was a really good gift. There was no price on that, but the Gonks were at $15.99. The inflatable bunny was $29.99, or you could even get lights and other ornaments. You can even buy these bunny gingerbread houses now, and you could buy a Gonk mug. Love the Gonk mug. Don't like Gonks, but I really like that mug. The gingerbread house was $5.99 going to get all different ornaments and then there is the inflatable up there that was 29.99 and no my son is not having one and then here are the other two inflatable things you could get as well again 29.99 each and then over here we started having all the easter range you could get this massive giant cookie cutter for two pound it's absolutely huge so if you want to make one giant cookie 
You had other bits and pieces here, craft, games, gonks, baskets that you could decorate yourself. Um, there was this ring toss, which was uh, $2.99, but you also had this Easter craft kit for $1.29. The ring toss looked really, really good. I think the kids would like that, so I might go and pick that back up in a couple of weeks. Um, also, you had some shredded paper and other craft bits if you wanted to decorate bonnets or baskets or anything else that you are decorating. Lots of different items there, so you can get really creative. You had lots of activities for the kids. You had these hair bands with dinosaurs, bunnies or sparkles on. So, and they were only a pound 25, I think, not overly expensive. These beautiful little hanging ornaments uh, my mum really liked them. They were £1.29 each. More shredded paper and some other craft bits and pieces. They had this noughts and crosses chicks and bunnies for £4.99. My son would love it as he loves noughts and crosses. And other things as well to keep the children occupied and keep them entertained. You had these dinosaur bunnies... Uh, with the dino egg in you also have bunnies with an egg in as well face painting stuff crafty little bits and pieces for the kids to do chalk to play outside with and activity books with easter fun lots of things for kids to do i'm going to pick up those masks because i think my nieces and my son would love them when they have a sleepover together and it had these fillable eggs for 4.99 there was absolutely loads of them if you're doing your own easter egg hunt this chocolate mold you can make a chocolate mold bunny and stick marshmallows and all in and they could just smash it up with got a hammer there as well i think that was 3.99 painting your own ornaments and you also had the bonnets there as well you can literally make anything they had everything there they had this silicone mold cup uh, not cupcake cake tin silicone cake tin um for bunnies it was in yellow and in pink and then you had the sheep there as well moving on around the corner there was more craft bits there were bonnets there there were pom-poms there that you could do more activity books for the kids i love this it's an egg stencil so hard boiled eggs and you can stencil uh, different shapes and different bunnies on i'm going to pick that up for the kids for their sleepover and lots of other different cra cra crafts sorry you had some ice cream cupcakes ice cream cases and spoons and you also had some stickers and wool as well so lots there and also lots of easter cards if you want to go and get an easter card i love winnie the pooh but i'm a disney fan you know that by now if you watch my channel and other ones as well which i thought was really really nice and then you had more stuff over here so these were like little um, paper bags there were 10 there so if you're having an easter party you're doing favors there were some things you could put on the table there were ice cream cases there were cupcake cases there was this big house that you could color in for easter which was 9.99 paper plates these little egg and chick cup egg cups um which are cute and some cardboard boxes to put things in and also you had this bunny chopping board or serving plate or whatever you want to use it for for 7.99 uh, some banners and some balloons and some signs to say and go this way or keep going if you're doing an easter egg hunt like we are and you had lots of lovely garlands that you could put up around a crystal gonk easter gonk and you had this garland which has had carrots on lots more crafts and bits and pieces for the kids to do really keep them entertained really keep them engaged with doing something in the way from screen time and they were they was not overly expensive so do go and check the range out if you've got a little girl who loves crafts then definitely get that it was brilliant um i can't remember how much that was and i absolutely loved the bunnies as well uh, more signs here that kids can color uh, you've got a carrot car there that's a carrot car so and that was two pound 49 bargain absolute bargain um, and then you've got more crafts and more painting paint your own egg you could uh, paint your own happy easter sign and they wasn't exp overly expensive and you had sequin eggs there as well there's so much there do go and have a look around the range and see if anything you want mini silicone cases if you want to make chocolate molds or little mini cakes or anything um, and then you had a big 3.99 paint your own ceramax things lots of baking ideas um lots of little carrots and toppings to go on and bunny toppers as well and then you had this lovely bee gonk which i thought was so funny i don't like them but i thought they were cool these are led light eggs if you do make your home easter five then go and have a look what a beautiful cushion that is of the chicks and it says we're all in this together which i absolutely love um, and then you had these, they were $2.99, they were actually candles. 
so they were really really different bunny ornaments and some um smelling stuff i can't think what they're called now and again another wonderful bunny cushion for 10.99 an easter garland as well for 9.99 and at the bottom you had an easter shaped garland too if you wanted to do that this is the led light which go lovely in someone's room and the led easter tree as well that was 50 pound i think and the led light was 10 pound i think um more gonks over here more decorations more garlands i really like the heart one um, I think that was like four ninety nine. I'm not one hundred percent sure. They had this like draft door stopper thing with little bunny tails on, which I thought was really cool. My granddad had one of them, but his dog chewed it up because my granddad bought a snake and my do this dog thought it was a toy. <laughs> anyway, and then it had this lantern. I love this spinny lantern. It was twelve ninety nine. It just looks so adorable. More of the little bunnies at the bottom there and some more garlands as well. Then we move on to the eggs. They were a lot more expensive than Tesco was, but they had exactly the same stuff, but definitely, definitely more expensive. It's literally if you run out. This I've never seen. I've never seen a dark chocolate rugby ball Guinness egg before. I've never seen that. Has anybody else seen that? That is something completely different. A Baileys, you had after eights, mini eggs for a Rocher. Basically, all the eggs that are in other shops, but they are so much more expensive in the range. I found that personally. These little sweet chick and bunny things, they were $1.25 each. Or you could just buy this massive tub of sweets for. $9.99, $10.99, sorry, $10.99. Um, and then you've got more chocolate uh, down here. But again, I did find it a lot more expensive than Tesco, Aldi or anywhere else. So if you're desperate, go there. If you can go somewhere else, I would probably go somewhere else. Then they had all the dairy-free stuff as well for $5.99. The little bunnies, the Smarties eggs, all the same stuff really. The lint eggs as well, apart from the range easter egg ball okay i'm back from tesco and the range as you can see tesco's easter eggs are cheaper even without the club card they're still cheaper but if you've got a club card then do use it because the easter eggs there are much cheaper than they are the range i found the actual easter eggs in the range quite expensive uh, but tesco was actually quite cheap but i did love all the stuff in the range. They were so pretty. I could have spent a fortune in there and I am tempted to go back and get a few little tiny bits, but where our range is, there's also B&M just across the road. So I quickly did a little walk over there. I've already done a B&M Easter video. I will link that in the description box below and in the cards above here. But I did pick up a couple of things because there was a few things that I wanted. And I really thought that they didn't have it. And it wasn't until I went, I'm just going to go and have another look to be sure, that I found it right at the bottom, tucked at the back. I don't know if somebody put it there until they come back. So it was out of the way, but I found it. So I got it. Um, and it was the uh, top hat, the Dino Easter egg top hat where my son can decorate it himself. Uh, so included in this is a top hat, four dinosaur eggs, one bag of shredded paper, three plants, one bag of moss and six dinosaurs. So we are going to be doing this on Easter Saturday. And then we've got an Easter egg hunt Saturday afternoon. So I think that would be really fun. Um, I also picked up um, a bluey egg because my son absolutely loves bluey. And to be honest, so do I. <laughs> I love bluey. It's brilliant. I'm definitely one of those parents that when your kid has left the room and blue is still on, that I'm still sat there watching it because I think it's fab. Um, it makes me laugh. It makes me cry. Whoever created it were geniuses. They really are. Are you a bluey fan? If you've got kids, are you a bluey fan? If you haven't got kids, is, and you can watch Bluey, watch a few episodes, it's brilliant. Um, I also picked up three bags of the eggs, of Haribo eggs, for my niece's Easter egg hunt I'll be doing when they come for a sleepover. So these are 50p each, even though they say 70, they were actually 50p each and they did an offer today, which was three bags for £1.20. So I picked up three bags, so one each. And I also picked up this hat, 
Um, because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give this hat to my son and he's going to think that this is the hat that he's got for Easter um, and he will love it. He will absolutely love it. And then I will also pour this one out for him over the Easter break that he can make himself and he'll keep them for a good couple of years anyway. And this was only two pounds. So I thought it was a really good bargain. So I think all of that cost me £9.20 because the dinosaur top hat was £5. The other top hat was £2. Um, the eggs, the sweets were £1.20 and then the bluey egg was a pound as well. So it all comes back £9.20. But yeah, so a little haul from B&M, not a lot. I do have to get all my Easter stuff out and go through it all and see what we've got but I am going to do another video of everything that I'm going to do for Easter with my son so do like and subscribe so you don't miss that um so yeah so good Sunday I'm actually in a really good mood I think because I get to see my little boy as well today is going to be fab um, but I'm going to put all this away now. I'm going to clean my room because it's an absolute mess and then I'm just going to wait for my little boy to come home for an hour. It's only an hour and like my mum said, oh, you would have thought he would have given you more than an hour. It's like, well, I'm just grateful that I got an hour. Do you know what I mean? I'm just grateful that I have an hour with him. I mean, no, it's not long and it will fly by. But I was expecting to have nothing. So I'm like, I'm pleased anyway. I'm pleased and trying not to be a negative Nelly about it all. So because I just feel that one day my kid is actually going to be watching these videos or he could watch these videos. And I don't want him to see me like bad mouthing my, his dad because his dad's great. And I don't want him to see me moaning about him all the time because he's going to watch it. And he's like, mum, all you did was moan about me and moan how hard it was to be a mum and moan about this and moan about that. And it is hard. It is really hard to be a mum whether you're a single parent or not it's really bloody hard but I won't moan about him because he's the best thing that ever happened to me and I don't want him to see in the future of all I ever did was moan that he didn't eat the food I uh, I gave him he doesn't eat the food I gave him to give him something else you know just get him cheese on toast or a bacon sandwich or something it's fine it's not it's not the end of the world um or moaning about them doing this and doing that and trust me I do moan I just don't want to air it on a place where he can constantly see it and look back on and have that trauma because I've had enough trauma in my own childhood without him having any as well. And plus he's come from two separate parents so that might affect him as he's older anyway and I want to try and make it as smooth a transition as possible for him and try and make it easy for him because I know what it's like. So anyway, I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to come back on. If not, it'll just be to say goodbye. But yeah, I've got a lot of cleaning to do and I'm procrastinating because I don't want to do it. Yeah, it's just a really good day. So I will catch up with you later. Morning, it's the next day. This is the dog, Toby. Some people are asking if they could see him. There he is. That's, <laughs> he sits like this. That's how he sits. <laughs> oh, he's a stupid dog, but he's lovely. Anyway, I didn't pick the camera up again yesterday because... My son was dropped off by my ex-husband for about an hour and a half. And then when I had to take him back to my ex-husband, um, he had a meltdown. Like, proper tears and snot <laughs> and everything. He didn't want to go. He wanted to stay with me. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because it was Mother's Day and he wanted to spend time with me. I'm not sure. It was really difficult because I just had to give him to my ex-husband and I had to walk away, uh, which was really hard to do. So ever since then, I've kind of been keeping myself busy. I did my jigsaw puzzle. I read a book. I watched some Disney films to make myself feel better. And I just tried to stay focused that I'm going to see him today and everything's going to be fine. But yeah, that's the reason I didn't pick up the camera again. So I'm finishing off the video here before I actually record my next video. Um, and that's going to be up on Wednesday. And it's what my son got me for Mother's Day. And there were some really, really nice gifts there. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you do catch that video on Wednesday. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the video of looking around Tesco and the range at their Easter stuff. If you like this video, then do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Completely free to you, but really helps me out. If you are not new here, but yet to subscribe, then please consider doing so. And if you have subscribed or joined me over on my Facebook group, I really do appreciate all the support and the comments and everything else. So thank you so much. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a good morning, good day or good evening, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.